Today I wanna to try out another AI tool in my workflow to see if AI actually has a real use in the design process. Today I'm gonna to try to use it at the start of the design to kinda of help me wireframe. Let's get started. This is Wizard, that's U-I-Z-A-R-D dot I-O. And this tool recently released an AI feature where you can give it a prompt and it generates an editable UI design. So to use this new feature, we need to select mobile for a mobile app. I'm gonna do a music app, so I'll give it a description for that. And then we need to describe the style. So I'm gonna go with modern minimalistic. And then we have some tags we can choose from. So we'll go with light theme and then modern as well. And then hit generate my project. And then just a matter of seconds, all of the app screens will start to generate for this app project. I'm gonna select auto designer here at the bottom center and then go to generate theme. I can then give the AI another prompt to update the theme. This time I just want a purple color instead of this pinkish red and I'll just generate that. I'm then gonna select the music player screen and go to export and I'm gonna export this as an SVG so I can import this to Figma. I'll just drag and drop the SVG in and then we need to scale this up to fit the 15 Pro Max screen size. I'll also be pasting that screen into FigJam. We have a solid foundation that the AI has generated for us, but this is far from a finished design. We need to put some thought into this and refine it to make it a good UI design. So let's start by creating a basic wireframe. So looking at the AI generated design, the first thing I wanna do is have some sort of navigation at the top. Instead of having your typical arrow here in the corner, what I wanna do is add a line at the top that lets you know that you can swipe down on this to close the music player. So then we can remove these icons since we don't need them and they'll probably be on the UI that's behind this when you swipe down, they'll be up here in the corner. So we don't need those here. Next, I wanna shrink the album cover in a little bit. I don't like it full width and I want some room at the top for this line. And then we have this download icon. This is kind of a secondary icon. We don't really need to access this often. So we're gonna hide this in a menu somewhere. The like button will probably be moved. In fact, since this entire screen is a window on top of the main UI, let's remove the main navigation and throw the like button down at the bottom. And then we still need a more button so we can access things like downloading the song. So we'll throw that here next to the song and artist name in a three dot menu. Also at the bottom, we'll have the like button, a button for accessing the playlist and maybe even the lyrics. So now that we've taken the AI generated app screen, polished it up a bit, and we have a good concept, let's go ahead and design that. So enjoy the speed art. And here is the finished result. As AI is still relatively new, I'm gonna to continue to explore it in my workflow and kind of see where it best fits. I definitely can see the benefit in using it to kind of jumpstart your wireframe like this. Starting on a blank project can be overwhelming at times and also it's repetitive. So why not use an AI to kind of speed up that process? I hope you enjoyed this video exploring AI. Here's some more videos I think you'll like. And as always, have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.